I know I've done it in the past if you've been with me a while, Leo. So we'll see. Maybe I'll make it a birthday thing. Um, but coming back to us, Leo, let's see what we have for the week. How you ride these energies is always up to you in the end. So I kind of want to start with an oracle card. So let's start with one card. Let's see what the universe, God, Holy Spirit, energies, angels, spirit guides of love have for us this week. For Leo, sun, moon, rising, inquiring, all are just different filters of how you perceive your question. Check out the other signs as well and that could give you a bigger perspective upon what you're wondering about. All right, let's see. Higher power. Trust your higher self. Trust that the universe is providing your path for your best interest, Leo. This is seeing the divine in your life, recognizing the signs and the symbols, and then feeling how they work inside of you and bring awareness and clarity to you. Because in the end, only you have your answer. Um, this can also mean um, like a conscious contract with a higher force. Having um, a true spiritual connection between yourself, your inner driver that you recognize on a daily basis in your consciousness and that higher knowing and um, seeing the connection around you, Leo. So it's also a four. So this is going to bring you stability, allowing the divine in your life, allowing that inner knowing to guide you is going to make you feel more stable, even though it feels like a leap of faith. So um, I have the Sacred Rose Tarot here. Let's pull a few cards for Leo and see what energies come up for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved. Let's see what we have, Leo. One card to start with for Leo. The Three of Cups. It's time to celebrate, Leo. Celebrate, um, in joy, in love, with those around you that make you feel good. Recognize the support that you have around you. How when you raise your vibration and you move through your life, through the waves, in love, whether that be in love or in love, in love with living, Leo, then this abundance um, overflows in everything that you do, in every decision that you make. In this card, sometimes in Three of Cups, it's like three girls and they're all like cheersing or high-fiving or something. And in this particular deck, it's just one awesome girl dancing naked with her hair flowing all around her like the wind. And her three cups are overflowing. Her connection to, I want to say, body, mind, and spirit are bringing her to her center. And because she's enjoying herself, he's enjoying himself so much, it's attracting the right kind of energy back to her. And even if nobody joins her party, she's having a good time in this party by herself, by himself. So enjoy yourself, whether you are alone or you're with good company. Enjoy yourself and see where it takes you. Three of Cups is to celebrate, guys. Celebrate the sun setting as we go. Let's pull another card for Leo. Let's see what we have. Queen of Pentacles, so Earth, an Earth sign, 
a feminine, earthy energy, having a grounding energy around you. Leo, maybe there's a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus um, around you that's important this week. That's going to help you find stability. That's going to help you have growth and abundance within the experience of your now, I want to say. Perhaps you're doing the celebration with the Queen of Pentacles or you have a lot of earth in your chart. Um, let's see. Let's see what energy is moving with the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. If I look like I'm flotting or a swatting off flies, it's because the horses are behind me here. The King of Wands, Leo. All right, so we've got a couple here. What's at the bottom? And the Two of Wands. So. There's a decision. I look at this as a twin flame card. This is like burning, fiery, passionate energy working together, deciding to be eye to eye, hand to hand, foot to foot, chest to chest, even, even, you know, looking at each other. You have the rose and the lily. They're connecting passion and, um, Innocence, innocent love and passionate love is working together. They're finding a connection within the animal part of them <laughs> and the higher, um, uh, I'm gonna say more connected to spirit part of them and allowing a decision to move forward together. So moving together passionately somewhere about something, but there's a decision that's made together here. Not on your own, together, with your eyes open and your ears open and your heart exposed. So you can almost feel each other's heart from the energy. There's passion here. There's not necessarily a lot of words, I wanna say, exchanged. Even though, if this is a Queen of Pentacles, she very possibly could analyze the you know what out of the situation but in this situation I feel like um, everything that needs to be said is through the eyes is through the heart is through how you feel out this situation feel it out guys feel it out um, so the king of wands is definitely a Leo sign or this is another fiery energy coming into your world Leo um, this King helps other people understand their path their purpose and their journey and provides fire to their spirit because he's so confident with who he is this guy just oozes confidence all around he is confident he wears his crown around his waist I feel like he listens to his gut he listens to how his intuition is moving his emotions and his senses and using that to guide his way through it's like he can see in the dark and the stars are perfectly clear above him he always knows his path he always has a connection to his higher self and his heart is exposed he's exposing his sexy chest so expose your heart find the balance between this earthy grounded stable energy that is able to feel the moment to be sensual in the moment and allow this sensuality in allow yourself to create abundance around you to have stability and to have patience within how things unfold. Don't overanalyze. Don't overanalyze the situation. Allow it to birth slowly as it should through the seasons, through the tides and the ebbs and the flows. And um, don't block your passions this week. I'm going to pull a numerology card see what we have for Leo.
spiritual career. 78 and rebirth. So perhaps there's a change in your uh, pursuits of your career or your, um, I want to say your motivations, what drives you forward. It doesn't have to be career, but maybe there is um, a need to have your spirit behind what you do as your career. It has to have purpose for you. Maybe you're thinking about that this week and thinking about what you need to do to have that burst, that passion in what you do. If you do what you love, then um, if you do what's passionate to you, then the right pathway opens up for you. Even if it feels like you're in the dark, you have to trust your higher self and follow what drives you forward, Leo? What does make you passionate? What makes you feel reborn? What makes you feel free? What do you need to let go of so that you can let your spirit fly, Leo? I have the Sun Moon Tarot in front of me, so I want to continue and pull another card for Leo. Let's get some more clarity for this rebirth, this decision, this dominion, this balance within the masculine and the feminine within you and within a relationship. There's um, seeing whoever you're having this decision about, whether this is a relationship in work, in family, in love, whatever this is, there um, has to be an evenness with power just knowing who you are and releasing control over the situation um, and allowing other people to have their own power too. That's the King of Cups. So learning how to ride your emotions in this situation is important. Don't be afraid to dive deep. Don't be afraid to bring some flowers and be a little romantic. Get on your white horse, you know. Pull up your pants, go into the water, go into the ocean, splash around, have some fun. Make a romantic gesture, guys. Tap into your emotions. Allow your emotions to be in your world this week. Three of Swords, Sorrow. And Completion. Ace of Wands is at the bottom. You have a brand new start. You have a brand new passion. You have a brand new something that's ready for you to grab. The only way to find completion, Leo, is to learn to ride the waves of your emotion. Perhaps this is the same king and he's learning to ride his passion and his emotions to make his way. Sorrow. This is such a hard card to come at the end. I'm going to have to chop a little bit off in the beginning. So, Leo, let's end by remembering that sorrow allows us to feel what is really important in our world. It allows us to remember the experiences that we have that are in our life. Um, help move us forward in a better direction for us. So if there's sorrow in your world this week, allow yourself to feel it. If there's sorrow around you, um, find a way to see how that sorrow has brought you to a better place, has brought you a new experience, has brought you a new understanding and has brought you to a point of completion where you can make a decision together to have something new, to have a rebirth, and to find something to celebrate about. So I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, in the end, always 